Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for the geolocation of drone imaging with Python and PyExit. Okay, what this tutorial about? Imagine that you flew your drone, and in the drone that you flew, you have the image. Okay, but the image, the geolocation of the drone at the time that it took the image, is not on the EXIF data. What is the EXIF data? The EXIF data is actually this information where it stores the position, the type of camera, the, the some information about the file, the owner or whatever. Okay, so the but the location information is not in the image. Okay, so the, the information is here on a CSV file. Okay, where we have the name of the image and the location, latitude, longitude, and the altitude. Okay, so we have done um, a Python script that actually reads this information and stores in the EXIF data or in the metadata of the drone imagery. Okay, so let's start our, let's explain what is our code. So let's say Anaconda prompt. You will receive the, the scripts in the description of the video and please place it under your documents. Okay? So say cd documents cd geolocate. Okay? And then here we launch JupyterLab. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is JupyterLab. And actually, you are going to receive the image folder, well, the empty image folder, the script folder, the sensor data, but with just five, with just five um, files, because this actually this is not intended to to run a complete auto photo. This is just to show that the procedure works, and the txt file where there is the um, position data. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's go to scripts. And let's I'm going to delete. let's start a new let's start a new notebook, okay? And in this new notebook, we are going to first. If you don't have by exif, you need to install it. You can install it by typing this, but I have already installed. So actually, I'm going to comment it. Okay, and then we have we are going to import the PyExif, the PIL, OS, and Pandas. Okay, then we define our uh, our source and our destination paths, the original paths and the destination path. Okay, great. And then we are going to have the GF, GPS position, PD, red five, telemetry, index call. So the head is this one. Okay. Okay, so this is the latitude, longitude, and altitude. Okay, and then we are going to define two working, two working functions. One that is a parser for the latitude, and the other is a parser for the longitude. And what is those functions? Those functions actually read, read the latitude and the longitude, and transform into a tuple or a special format that is required for the met for the exit data, okay. Um, we can we can tell you that this is a very particular format, and actually the background information on this was kind of scarce and not very well documented, okay. It took us some time to do it. Uh, however, if you are learning Python, you might or like if your Python skills are not so strong, like you are invited to use the script and it should work with your data. However, like if you want to improve your Python and then you you think that you can do more, actually you can do more. Or like by tweaking this this code, you can do more with your own data or with your own analysis. Okay, so that's why this is most what I have said is mostly an invitation to keep learning Python. Okay, keep learning Python. Don't don't stay with the codes that I provide. 
try to look what the code does, how it works, and then from that you can really apply for your own for your own sake and for your own benefit. Okay? Don't lose the interest. Okay, so here we are going to do a iter row over a data frame where we create a dictionary that is the GPS that what is the dictionary the GPS so if you on the on the input data here on the metadata everything here is a dictionary so you have a dictionary of image you have a dictionary of camera you have a dictionary of photography and then you have a dictionary however as we see on the this is well this is a previous run information what we are going to do is we are going to add this that is the GPS dictionary and this GPS is actually written on the image by a dictionary okay so I'm going to delete this just to show you that we are that this data is going to be produced by our code so if I run it actually it, took, it takes from the original data and save into the destination path destination folder with the data so and then here we see that the data is generated and for any of the figures here we have the GPS data with that we can use this drone imagery to run some with that we can use this drone imagery to run open drone map for example and in this case open drone map is still running and it is still running because it takes so long this data set is is huge yeah but there are some for example it has understood the system of reference okay and it has understood that the altitude data detected on from the exit data exit data exit data okay so this was our tutorial um well it's still running well it's really slow because actually i'm running open drone map simultaneously um i hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you uh, we are hatari labs we promote the knowledge sharing in open source software uh, we have courses, webinars, um, and tutorials. And if you like what we do, please share our blog, share our content, give it a like. And we have around six, seven thousand subscribers in our YouTube channel in English. And if you like what we do as well, you can join, subscribe to our channel, so you are going to receive much more information, better information and you are going to help us to reach the 10,000 subscribers that is our goal okay great so thank you and as we say in spanish viva el software libre see you in coming tutorials webinars or courses bye bye and have a great day bye